Hey, what's up, guys? We are Vox, and welcome! I knew this would be awkward. Hey, what's up, guys? We are Vox, and welcome to the Minecraft Monday Show, here covering all your Minecraft news every week, so you have one show to watch to be fully updated, so you have more time to play Minecraft. And there's some pretty awesome stuff going on in the community, like if you ever want to learn how to mod. Well, these guys started up a class in San Diego about how to mod. Not only that though, but they're also selling the software to help teach you in a user-friendly way. They also publish tons of video tutorials, teaching you code and add-ons that add physics to trees, how to make multiplayer games, make things like Tetris, or portal guns all in Minecraft. Now these are just some of the things, so if you ever wanted the code, no better time to start. Get on it. What else is our community up to? Have you ever heard of the mod Civcraft? I haven't either myself, but it's kind of irrelevant now. Because now they're looking to make this mod a standalone game. And it's going to go by the name Praxis, a large scale online multiplayer society building experience. Minecraft in other words, just with a mod. And this is interesting because it comes out on the heels of Microsoft buying Mojang so more people want independence and a guaranteed job essentially. As they've been coding this for a year and a half, they don't want it to go to waste in case the things go south. So they're now making their own standalone game, which you're probably going to see more of this happening in our community. And honestly, good for them. Speaking of which though, the Oculus CEO, woo, shots fired at Notch. Because we all know, since Notch sold Mojang and all of the founders left Mojang, got away scot-free with billions. Well, more and more people keep getting vocal, including the Oculus Rift CEO. And this is due to Notch being a hypocrite going back on everything he said all these years with selling out and everything else. But Notch was also very vocal about how disgusted he was with Facebook buying the Oculus Rift. So vocal, in fact, that the CEO of Oculus made sure to go out of his way to say how ironic that now he's selling out. Calling the whole situation with Notch ironic. This was during a press conference too he did shots fired. So, whoo, man, he got on some people's bad side during all that. Now, a few months before Notch sold Mojang, he did say, I'm totally okay with Facebook buying Oculus. Also ironic because then he ended up selling Mojang. So the timing works out perfectly. Now I'm done talking about billionaires, but let's go ahead and check out what else is going on in the community. Like, if you ever want a server checker, Dinnerbone went ahead and updated his server checker website. This way you can test to see if your server is running or stalks somebody else. It will also tell you if it's online, what version, software, and player names that are online. This week we also saw a new skin. What, a new player model, Steve? Yes, that's right, and it has three wide pixels. Also, the elbows are a little bit more slouched. This is really interesting, actually, because nobody ever thought the default player model would ever get changed. All I say is, I want the swinging arms to come back. I love that. Ow, oh, I almost got away without bringing it up again. Microsoft buying Mojang, but I have to because I forgot to mention that Microsoft did make a word about YouTube videos stating the following. I'm gonna look at this at face value. As long as you're not advertising videos that violate the advertisement policies on YouTube and the content of the video doesn't support piracy or in other way promotes a legal distribution of the game, it's okay. Chris goes on to saying, there's a lot of Let's Play videos and reviews and walkthroughs of other games out there. Now that's fine and dandy and all, and it kinda says, okay, we're good to go, except it doesn't say that no, we will not monetize your YouTube videos or take a percentage or how much. Also, this is only coming from the Xbox account, Xbox and PlayStation 3. So that means there's no word whatsoever on PC versions, modding, anything else when it comes to monetization. So even though this is a nice start, this is by no means a press release that we can go back and refer to for YouTube and say, no, 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 we're good because they said so here. So unfortunately, we're still fully waiting on the okay. And this Mojang Microsoft deal isn't even finalized yet. They're still doing all the paperwork and figuring out employees and everything else. So we continue to not know exactly what's going to go on and hope for the best. All right, guys, let's focus on the community. Awesome stuff that you guys are up to. Be sure to send anything to me over at twitter.com slash beatbox. But first up, yeah, videos. And this is Steve versus Mario. Steve, you know what, he minds his own business in this video until Mario comes along and demands all the loot. Check out Mario vs. Minecraft. It's awesomely made and it even has piston shooting shell launchers. 
awesome job with this production, but I always love to focus on the little guys when I find you guys. So this awesome animator made this one called Pumpkin Problems. Only 3,000 subscribers and this has under 1,000 views. Let me repeat that, under 1,000 views. Go read those comments, yell diamonds to you. Let him know he's doing awesome stuff. And what if Herobrine had a dad? Ooh. Turns out his dad was actually pretty awesome. Teaching Herobrine the best of trolling techniques. It's also a light cartoony feel, I love it. And your final one, The Lost Scripture. This alone is a seven minute animation. I cannot express how long that takes. Oh, good job, and this is only the beginning of his series that he wants to start. This is also another very low view count, so go ahead and harass that video with awesome, like Diamond Stew. Not actual harassment, positive harassment. And you know I can't let you guys walk away without, holy sh**, did you see that? Awesome downloads that you guys can get your hands on. Go ahead and download them. Your first one is Elder Ocean of the Dying Planet. This is a 4K wide space themed build. Basically, imagine some planet that has been destroyed by some cataclysm or sun radiation. But your next one is a blue castle of Aris. It may be a little castle, but it's nice. Isolated too for easy picking up or placing on a world server. Blue rooftops, a finished interior, and everything else you would expect, like a setup marketplace. And because Microsoft bought Mojang, you can imagine people are already making games, like Minesweeper. Go ahead and get your hands on this. But more importantly, get your hands on this next one, Diversity 2. I just live streamed this with Ridge Dog, and it's amazing. It's gonna be on BO Fox Gaming as well. But let me tell you. Eight months of work went into this. It took us about six hours to be total. So much fun. This is one where you have to capture the wall after each mini game and place it in the center. But the amount of work that went into this is outstanding. Game bosses, uh, parkour, everything you can imagine. Puzzles that are big, massive pain. This whole thing is just full of so much win, I cannot express it. Eight months of worth of work. At least it's worth the download. Before I get to your guys' contest, this skins this week. We have Pathfinder. Ent, Zombie, Lance, and a Steampunk Captain. And congratulations to last week's winners who were subscribers, commenters, and your pick that random four people. 25 bucks each, 100 bucks. Congratulations, I'll be doing that again. Be sure to comment down below, be a subscriber, and need something to comment on? Oh, I don't know. If you can make a mini game of any type, what would it be? What would be your favorite mini game? Maybe it's themed after a different game. Comment down below. And you could be picked at random. You'll find out next week. Ah! Well, hey guys, that's it for me. As always, I'll see you throughout the week over on BO Fox Gaming here as well and on live stream. Don't forget to keep being awesome. I'll see you guys next time. Tweet me anything awesome that you guys find. And as always, diamonds to you. Happy Minecrafting.